Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, I wanted to talk an about another of my Instagram posts, which I thought deserves a video. So here I am making a video. Uh, the post was trust the process, not the source. Uh, in the video, I basically in the post I talked about that a lot of students, especially need UG students or even need people who are preparing for need PG, keep on thinking and keep on asking, "Hey sir, Allen jaye, Akash jaye, physics wala kare ya an academy kare, maro le ya prep le." Dams nahi jaye, aap bhatiya jaye. You know, you have to remember that each and every coaching will produce a set of toppers, and that is going to happen irrespective of the fact that there are multiple coaching, single coaching, or whatever it is. Each coaching has its sets of pros and cons. You cannot have a coaching which is absolutely perfect because nothing in life is perfect. Humans are not perfect, and those coachings are made by humans. So obviously, those coachings cannot be perfect as well. So whenever a topper or whenever someone who's on YouTube is guiding you about the process, is telling you that you know. He did so and so. Let's say if I say that I did a uh, testing discussion, I have had a testing discussion, I have had a dance testing discussion, I have used these books, I have used these books. Don't trust the source. Don't trust the sources. Ko trust, mat karo. trust the process. Try to figure out what's best for you, for taking an input, taking an inspiration from what the process that I did. Every topper, be it NEET UG, be it NEET PG, will follow a similar process. सोर्स हो सकता है किसी और का क्या हो किसी ने पीजी में डाम्स यूज किया होगा किसी ने भाटिया यूज किया होगा यूजी में किसी ने आलन में पढ़ाई की होगी किसी ने आकाश में पढ़ाई की होगी कोई फिजिक्स वाला का स्टूडेंट रहा होगा कोई अनकेडमी का स्टूडेंट रहा होगा ये मत देखो उन्होंने पढ़ाई कहाँ से की डोंट सी वेयर वट सोर्सेज डिट दे यूज ट्राई टू फिगर आउट वट वॉज द प्रोसेस डेट ए यूज एंड लेट मी टेल यू द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम टाइम ए मेमोरियल इन नीट यूज यू ऑलवेज हैज बिन फोकस ऑन एन सी आर टी एंड नीट पी जी दट्स दिंग दट आई वर गोइंग टू डिस्कस राइट नाउ मोर फोकस ऑन नीट पी जी द फर्स्ट थिंग रिविजन एंड नोट्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी टॉप नॉट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एवरी हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टॉपर्स विल से दैट मल्टीपल रिविजन एंड हैविंग अ सेट ऑफ गुड हंड्रेड एंड नोट्स एंड इफ नॉट गुड हंड्रेड एंड नोट्स अ सेट ऑफ नोट्स फ्रॉम वेर यू कैन यू नो यू कैन रिवाइज फास्ट इज नेसेसरी एज फर एस क्लियरिंग नीट पी जी इज कंसर्न एंड नॉट जस्ट मी एंड नॉट जस्ट दीप पीपल हैव टेकन इंटरव्यू विद इफ यू आर ऑन ट्विटर आई वुड आस्क यू टू फॉलो डॉक्टर जय शाह ही हज अपलोडेड अ पी पी टी दट इज शेयर विद इस जूनियर्स इन बी जे मेडिकल कॉलेज अहमदाबाद ही गॉट ऑल इंडिया रैंक ट्वेंटी फोर दिस टाइम एंड ही ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस इफ यू कैन सी He's talking that his he took six months, six to seven months for his first reading. Then another revision, then another revision, and a final revision. So multiple revision, four, three to four revisions are a bare minimum, which everyone ends up doing it. I have talked about a plan in six months, in three month revision, then one and a half month, then twenty uh, days, and a final ten day revision. I've talked about something on the similar lines. That's what intern. If if you are having an internship which is very very hectic. Then obviously the first reading cannot be completed in three, three and a half months. That will take four to five months. Then do the next revisions rapidly. Try to finish them in a much more rapid pace. The first reading can take time, but the other revisions should then be uh, shorter in time. But the essence stays the same, irrespective of the person who cracked the exam and got a good rank. They did multiple revision. Second, almost every one of them used notes, and I loved one thing that uh, Dr. Jay said. Said here is revise, revise, revise till you die. This is the essence of preparation for NEET PG, multiple revision, and I keep on talking about a last revision in last ten days. That's extremely important to get the accuracy that you desire. Second thing that almost everyone talks about, everyone knows, PYQs, the actual gold standard. Why are they the gold standard? Because thirty percent of the paper, twenty to thirty percent of the paper, is going to be repeats, like quite literally same question repeated again in the entrance examination, and remaining fifty percent of the questions will come from. Topics which have been repeated, so they won't ask you. For example, I'll give you the example of checkpoint inhibitors. Ames has asked a question about checkpoint inhibitors since they started asking about checkpoint inhibitors. The so first time they would probably ask about nivolumab. Next time they will ask about pembrolizumab. Then they will ask which of the following is not a checkpoint inhibitor. But that checkpoint inhibitor thing will keep on repeating again and again and again and again. Uh, so you have to realize that PYQs give you an idea about what to read. You know what is important. You keep on asking, what are the important topics? How do people get to know what is an important topic by going through previous year question? So solving past five to seven year previous year question, especially as far as AIMS and INI is considered, is an absolute necessity. There's no doubt about that. In fact, if you go to another channel, Dr. Mansi, another amazing channel, I would ask everyone to follow it. Uh, again, she used just an academy for preparation. She's not a MARO or a prep student. She's just an academy student. So she just used an academy to get a rank. In such a scenario. trust the process not the source another thing consistency is more important as far as as compared to intensity in the long run your consistency is what that matters in the short run it's intensity what matters so let's say you took a long time to finish your first reading that's fine but if you did it continuously on a daily basis you will be fine then increase the intensity towards the end and that's why the last 10 day revision is again it's the intensity in the ending phase and consistency studying daily ek chhota sa topic roz padhna important 
make sure that you have something concise to revise long big big notes no nothing can revise and last but definitely not the least avoid fomo this is equally applicable for my advice as well like i saying don't trust the source so so uh, don't trust the source trust the process the process is that concise material hona chahiye multiple revisions honi chahiye ek last 10 day mein tumhe revise karna hona chahiye previous year question solve hone chahiye to know what to revise and especially unko revise karna chahiye this is actually applicable for my advice as well and i will tell you agar tumhe first read samajh nahi aati i know that i have promoted first read a lot i love that book and i'm pretty sure most people will love that book but if you are someone who is not liking first read to yaar padhni nahi hai baith ke ki mai first read padunga because aditya sir ne bola hai first read padni hai usse paper aata hai nahi ho rahi mat karo okay you have another resource you have an the point of first read is that's a concise thing for a revision so if you have something which you can make for concise source for revision something else and you feel that is better than first read then obviously that is better than first read because it's better for you but make sure that you have something concise for revision okay so that is the thing i wanted to emphasize trust the process not the source source change hota rahega एक कोचिंग जगह दूसरी कोचिंग आ जाएगी कभी कोई किसी बारे में जैसे वी समर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सम एक्स वाई जेड थिंग थिंक अबाउट कि वो बोल क्या रहा था व्हाट वाज़ द प्रोसेस दैट इट फॉलोड सोर्स के पीछे मत भागना थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे